Namaste and welcome back to our ongoing exploration of Patanjali's Yog Sutras. In today's video, we are focusing on the fifth sutra, which introduces a crucial concept in understanding the workings of the mind. Vrittaya, Panchataya, Kalista, Akalista. This sutra sets the stage for what's to come by introducing the idea that our minds are constantly in motion, influenced by various mental modifications or vrittis. These vrittis can either lead us towards suffering or steer us away from it, depending on how we handle them. Today, we will lay the groundwork for understanding these mental fluctuations and why they are so important in our journey towards self-realization. Before we dive into the sutra itself, let's take a moment to understand why the concept of vrittis is so vital in the practice of yoga. The mind, according to yoga philosophy, is like a lake. When the water is calm and still, we can see the bottom clearly. However, when the surface is disturbed by waves and ripples, the bottom becomes obscured. These disturbances in the mind are what Patanjali calls vrittis. They are the thoughts, emotions, memories and sensory inputs that create ripples on the surface of our consciousness, making it difficult for us to perceive the true nature of our inner self. In yoga, the ultimate goal is to achieve a state of inner stillness, where the mind is free from these disturbances, allowing us to connect with our true nature. But to reach this state, we first need to understand what these vrittis are and how they affect us. Now let's break down the fifth sutra, Vrittaya Panchataya Kalista Akalista. Vrittaya refers to the fluctuations or modifications of the mind. Panchataya means fivefold, indicating that there are five main types of these mental modifications. Kalista refers to those vrittis that cause suffering or distress. Akalista refers to those that do not cause suffering and in some cases may even lead to positive outcomes or spiritual growth. What Patanjali is telling us here is that the mind's activity can be classified into five broad categories, each of which can either lead us towards pain and suffering or away from it. This is a fundamental concept in yoga because it provides a framework for understanding how our thoughts and mental pattern shape our experience of life. But what exactly are these five vrittis? That's the question we will explore in greater detail in the next sutra. For now, let's focus on significance of understanding these mental fluctuations. In yoga, much of the practice revolves around gaining control over these vrittis. The fluctuations of the mind are like the winds that can either propel a ship in the right direction or blow it off course. If we can learn to manage these mental modifications, we can steer our mind towards clarity, peace and ultimately self-realization. Patanjali's Yog Sutras provide us with the tool to calm the vrittis, to reduce the constant mental chatter that keeps us from experiencing the true nature of our being. Through practices like meditation, breath control and ethical disciplines, we gradually reduce the power these fluctuations have over us. It's important to remember that the goal of yoga is not to eliminate thoughts altogether, but to cultivate a state of mental stillness where the mind becomes a tool that serves us rather than something that controls us. So how do we begin to calm these mental modifications? Here are a few practical steps that can help you start managing your vrittis. First, meditation. Regular meditation practice is one of the most effective ways to calm the mind. By observing the flow of thoughts without attachment, we gradually reduce the impact of the vrittis. Second, pranayam, breath control. The breath and the mind are closely connected. By controlling the breath through techniques like anulom vilom or brahmari, we can directly influence and calm the mind. Third, mindful living. Bringing mindfulness into your daily activities helps 
to reduce unnecessary mental fluctuations whether you are eating walking or simply breathing being fully present in the moment reduces the tendency of the mind to create unnecessary ripples fourth study of sacred text reflecting on the teachings of sacred text like the yoga sutras provide clarity and perspective which helps in managing the mind fifth detachment vairagya cultivating a sense of detachment from the results of your actions from possessions and from the endless stream of desire helps in reducing the impact of kalishvritis those that cause suffering these practices are like tool that helps us to gradually calm the lake of the mind making it easier to see our true selves and experience the peace that lies within let me share a personal experience with you when i first started my yoga journey like many i struggled with my restless mind i would sit down to meditate only to be bombarded with thoughts worries and distractions it felt like my mind was a stormy sea and i was powerless to calm it but over time through consistent practice and the guidance of my teachers i began to see progress one of the most transformative moments for me was realizing that i didn't have to fight these thoughts or suppress them instead i learned to observe them to understand their nature without getting attached this shift in perspective was profound by applying the principles of yoga especially the teachings on vrittis i was able to bring more calm and focus into my life the mind is still active of course this is natural but now it's like a gentle breeze on a calm day rather than a storm this is the power of understanding and managing the vrittis patanjali's fifth sutra is a doorway to a deeper understanding of the mind it introduces us to the concept of vrittis the mental modification that shape our experiences of reality by recognizing these fluctuations and learning how to manage them we take the first step on the path towards mental mastery and inner peace in our next video we will explore the five specific type of vrittis that patanjali outlines in the following sutras each of these vrittis has a unique impact on our mind and understanding them is key to progressing in your yoga practice thank you for watching and being part of this journey if you found this video insightful please give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might benefit don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out our next video on the yoga sutra until next time take some time each day to observe your thoughts and see how they affect your mind are they calming the water of your consciousness or stirring them up this awareness is the first step toward mastering the mind namaste